Large right-handers that toss darts in the high 90s. It's Garrett Cole versus Noah Syndergaard in Pittsburgh. And the Mets' rookie is not just a Dylan G. filling. Terry Collins said they will implement a six-man rotation when G comes back, although it might not be permanent. It makes sense, being that the organization is trying to shed a couple starts off Matt Harvey's regular season total so that we don't run into a Steven Strasburg September shutdown situation following Tommy John surgery. Let's fire up the summary from this power pitching matchup. As it's the Mets and Pirates. Noah Syndergaard off to a strong start on Friday night. The rookie facing Josh Harrison strikes him out. Neil Walker and Andrew McCutcheon as well in the bottom of the first. So with that hot start, carry over to the next inning. Pittsburgh with a runner in scoring position, two men away, and Gregory Polanco coming up. And this one is worked out. It's nice pass to it. Alvarez will be way tall. One nothing Pirates. Give Polanco a hit. Here is Chris Stewart. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a shot there inside the third base back. Chris Stewart makes it a 2 nothing game. But touch him to third. Now one man away. The Mets will probably have to move the infield in. And a bouncer over the mound and into center field. Chung Hong Gong delivers the RBI single that scores Andrew McCutcheon and gives the Pirates a 3-1 lead in the sixth. The Cole train is rolling tonight. Garrett Cole registers his eighth strikeout, and he's now punched out four in a row. Infield a double play depth. They've already turned a couple on the ground tonight. And the 1-1 one, one hit hard on the ground to short. Comes, got it from his knees to second for one. Walker to first double play. They turn their third double play. One up, one down, and Andrew McCutcheon coming up. McCutcheon hit by the pitch. Sixth time this year he's been hit by a pitch. He says, I'm getting tired of this blank. Well, this has to be a, a little weird feeling for Garrett Cole. Foreign territory. He has never pitched. A complete game in his professional career. Three and two to count. Here's the payoff pitch to Campbell. Fastball, no. Ball four. Win hurdle, it's your move. 33,337. Listen to this. He leaves with a 4 1 lead. Two men on, one out. Mark Melanson coming on with a 1 0. Fastball popped in the air. Shallow left. Charging in his Marte. He's under it. And he makes the catch. Two men away. Dyer has bounced out twice and struck out looking. Here's the pitch. <coughs> Round ball, shortstop, gun to second. The force, the out, the game, and raise the Jolly Roger. Yes, indeed. Garrett Cole improves to 10 and 2 with a 2.77 ERA in his last 17 starts at PNC Park. He's the first Bucks pitcher in over 100 years to earn wins in 27 of his first 50 career games with the club. And after this one, Cole spoke about his chemistry with catcher Chris Stewart. Uh, it's just a little bit of familiarity, I think. Um, uh, he, he understands how I like to work out there, and he understands um, me better than me sometimes. So. Uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's a good combination. You know, it's a great feeling. It was a great game. Um, you know, and Mark came in and shut the door, and, and we're going to get out of here with a W. I like that. Chris Stewart understands Garrett Cole more than Garrett Cole sometimes understands Cole. He's established himself as the Pirates' main man in the rotation, and he's among baseball's best. Go back to September 1st last season, a major league best 10 wins to go along with a 2-7-1 ERA. And look at what we have here in D.C. before Philly's Nationals.